right, the time has finally come. You guys have asked me to uh, react to the Little Mermaid trailer. They came out from the Oscars, and I'm going to have to oblige and do so. Uh, but, of course, before we watch this uh, trailer, I just want to preface this by I'm really not going to be able to play much from the trailer, unfortunately, simply because the copyright is insane on Disney movies lately. They are trying to silence any criticism on movies. They did it with Peter Pan, uh, hardcore. I had to re-edit it like five times to get the video out, video out, and I would guarantee that they're going to do it with the new Little Mermaid trailer. So with that being said, I'm going to try my best to dance around it by also giving you the best example of of a reaction that I possibly can. So with that being said, guys, let's get into reaction for The Little Mermaid, the official trailer from the Oscars. Now, the funny thing is, if you look at this trailer, before we actually click this trailer, you'll realize it is getting ratioed to all hell. At, at the time of this video, we're at 431,000 disc likes to only 93,000 upvotes. That is an insane ratio, the likes of which we haven't seen in a while. Uh, Velma, I think, was uh, probably a little bit worse. But still, the funny thing is, they always want to say, well, people love this. We're making... We're making movies for modern audiences, guys. This is what they want. They want this kind of stuff. But it, the the question is, where are those people? Like, where are the people who want this stuff that you say want these movies so bad? Where are they? Because they sure as hell are not liking your videos. They sure as hell are not supporting you on social media nowhere near as much. You want to make it seem as if the people who hate this stuff are the minority. But the thing is, it's very obvious that we are not. And I just don't understand where, where are all these supporters at? Where are they? But we're going to find out exactly how many supporters there is. Like I said, this movie might not bomb. I'm just putting that out there. It might not bomb. It might actually succeed. But I'm going to say that there's probably a very small chance of it once you factor in all the costs involved with the actual movie uh, because they don't get 100% of the revenue. They only get about 50% after the movie theater takes its cut on average. Plus, you also have marketing to think about, which they're doing a lot of. So you got to imagine it's going to be expensive of a movie, but we're going to find out exactly how much. So let's play a couple of clips and then we're going to talk about it. Oh, so again, like I said with the Peter Pan um, uh, trailer, I, I don't like how every single Disney trailer lately with the live action remake, they're going with the very like overly serious tone, right? Like they're going with a super serious tone music, the super serious tone just outlook. And it's like, you're losing the magic of a Disney movie, in my opinion. When you go with these super serious tones and the music especially, you really, really lose that magic. But you basically see the prince on his ship uh, crashing and then obviously going to be saved by Black Ariel now. And uh, you see him literally fall into the water and then Ariel ends up going up and saving him right here. Now, the funny thing is, again, in this shot, her hair is not as silky smooth and straight as it was in some of the other pr promotional video. So I wonder what's going to happen with her hair throughout the actual movie. Uh, I probably won't find out because I'm not watching the movie. I'm going to have to uh, read a recap or something like that. But still, um, again, I, I just think that it's really odd that it's a perfectly fine for her to have a silky smooth red hair. Uh, and that's not cultural appropriation. But, you know, God forbid you do anything else um, with dreads or something like that. And all of a sudden you are the worst person in, in planet Earth. But Ariel obviously saves the prince. You're going to see the, the scene right here. Check it out. So the graphics are great. That's number one. I, I think the uh, the entire setting looks really good. And I, that's one thing I can't take away from Disney. Even their live action remakes, they definitely put the money into the CGI. They definitely put the money into the presentation, which makes me wonder, and we've said this many times in videos, these are the same people who own Marvel, right? These are the same people making the MCU films. Why does the MCU look so fucking terrible like really terrible compared to Star Wars and compared to the live action remakes from Disney. Why do they look so terrible? MCU is getting shit canned overall in terms of their CGI quality. And yet all these live action remakes look fantastic. The, uh, the, uh, Disney Star Wars looks fantastic. Even down to the TV shows, they look great. So I don't really know like if it's just the MCU is getting snubbed in certain terms of budget, but it, it just doesn't look as good. It really doesn't look as good, but let's continue. So you see, um, more people looking for the prince. They go into the beach after Halle Bailey saved them. And she runs away into the water, of course. And she's looking past and she's looking at, um, the prince and you see the entire castle image here and then you see her swimming through i'm gonna play that because i probably won't get copyrighted let's see you broke the rules you want to now okay this is a perfect shot right here so you see Halle bailey right black female right king triton 
is still very, very white. He's very, very white. So Halle Bailey's father is white. Her love interest, the prince, is white. A um, little bit questionable here. I'm really starting to believe that Halle Bailey is sincerely a token hire. Now, um, I haven't seen the Little Mermaid's mother in the trailer at all. I don't know if they're going to bring her into this story. They probably will because I saw that she was casted for the role, and it is it is indeed a black woman. But I still think it's funny that her father is a white man. They're heavily pushing the interracial couple thing. I don't have a problem with that. I just think it's pretty funny considering they want to talk about diversity and they want to talk about how white people have it so easy. And yet in prominent roles like King Triton and also um, the prince who has a love interest of the Little Mermaid, you made them all white instead of just making them black. You already made Ariel black. You could have just easily made King Triton black. You could have made the prince black. You could have had an entire black movie out of Little Mermaid if you really wanted to. So why didn't you do it? Why did you only go with one? And I, we all know why it was a Little Mermaid. We know why you didn't make it like, for example, you know why they didn't make King Triton black and Little Mermaid white. You know why. It's because Little Mermaid is the one, Ariel is the one who has all the clout from the movie. So they need to give the best, the, the most prominent role um, to the black person. That's what they're going to do. So you have a scene of the prince on the ship. Ariel's obviously watching, swimming on through. Uh, again, the graphics look pretty interesting. They, they are um, showcasing her hair being both silky smooth in this shot and also braided, which is interesting. So she has silky, silky smooth hair, which I know for fucking sure that shit ain't natural. And then she also has super braided hair. Again, very odd combination. No, I don't really know what that's called. I'm not really an expert in hairstyles. So I just find it odd that they decided to go with both. So you see the scene. Like I don't know if I could play this because there's music, but I could play a couple, a couple seconds. Check it out. Live in that world unless you become a human yourself. Is that even possible? <laughs> okay, so my bad. There is no music, but that's her talking to Ursula, who also happens to be a white woman, seemingly. Uh, so, of course, the white... <laughs> she has to be a white woman because it's a, it's a bad character. It's an evil character. So uh, this is Ursula promising a Little Mermaid that she can actually be a human. And we all know the scene that that's taking away her voice in order to make her human. And it's a scene that's very prominent in the movie. You see Ursula's magic here, which looks pretty cool. Let's check it out. Very famous scene where she swims up to the top and realizes that she has legs. Completely shocked by that fact. And then it showcases a couple of the animals that we all know and love. Check it out. I can't quite figure it out. She got legs, you idiot. So obviously right there you saw Sebastian, which again, I feel like they should have made him a black lobster or a crab, but they didn't do it. I feel like that's a, that's definitely a missed opportunity there. And then they do start playing the song from here. I cannot play this part of the clip unfortunately because we will get copyrighted but again the movie looks fantastic like in terms of graphical and presentation it really does although right here this still shot a little bit sus on the cgi i'm not gonna lie it's looking very blurred and i know i caught it in a moment where it was in motion but this looks you know not that great this looks this looks uh almost she hulk level bad but ultimately overall the movie looks very good um let me see if i can play it without the sound I'll show you. Yeah, that should help a lot a little bit. So you guys can see basically um, how it's actually playing out. She's showcasing her with the different uh, creatures under the sea. They're playing the famous song and they're recreating some of the scenes from the actual cartoon. This is very good looking. It really is it's very good looking. But ultimately, people are going to look past this because, again, you have a black character that was race swapped. But you you definitely kept the white prince, you kept the white king, you kept all that stuff, and all you did was change one character to black. It feels very tokenized, in my opinion. If you were going to show more diversity, you should have spread it out a little bit more. As of right now, according to the trailers, we're not seeing that much. But we do also get to see other mermaids, though. If you guys see this particular clip, I'll show you. You can see other mermaids in this particular clip. And they're all going around King Triton. And this is how the, you know, the famous ending to the, uh, to the song. 
So I'm interested to see just how bad this movie might do. And like I said, it could definitely be successful. There is no doubt about that whatsoever. This could 100% be a successful movie, but I think there is just too much identity politics to it. I think it's very similar to um to like Lightyear, where Lightyear had so much controversy around it that I just don't see how this movie is going to be ultra successful, at least not as much as it could have been. And I'm not just saying that it only could have been because of, if you would have put a white character, it would have been. I just feel like if you were going to do the diversity thing, putting in one token black character who is the main character and everybody else who matters is white. It just seems very odd to me. It, fe it seems very lazy and I just don't like it. It's just, it's just, it's not the best way to showcase diversity. And we all know this is what they do. They literally checked off one box and went with it. But I do think they also have Ariel's sister in the movie, if I'm not mistaken. And she's also black and the mom's black, but somehow Triton is white. Uh, again, it can happen. Sure. Uh, underwater who knows i really don't know but this entire movie is is I i'm interested to see how this is going to go so you guys can let me know in the comments down below whether or not you're going to go see the little mermaid you tell me the truth I, I have no problems you can tell me the truth i'm I'm never tell i would never tell anybody not to watch something unless i truly in all of my heart felt against it but if you want to go see the little mermaid you can let me know in the comments down below why that is anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you did enjoy it if you did consider leaving me a subscribe i would greatly appreciate it don't forget to like the video comment let me know what you thought and i'll see you guys on the next one hypnotic out